Welcome, Kingsmen. I hope you guys are all doing well. I hope you guys are having a great rest of your week. Um, I would like to invite you to join me in a war of 1812. Now, the factions, I'm not going to know them all, <laughs> so don't be surprised. Uh, we have Prussia, which I would know, um, Great Britain, United Kingdom, and I believe this is a German faction of some sort, and this looks like a Spanish faction of some sort. Um, I, yeah, you can educate me. Uh, going up against Bavaria, and I actually want to pause because things start off pretty fast here. Um, Italy, and um, France, and Westphalen. I'm not sure what that is, but I'm assuming it's another one of... It looks very French-looking. But uh, the awesome thing about this, guys, is that uh, Spain, I'm just going to call them Spain, has a guerrilla force they set up in two locations. So they actually have a... Let me just pause, play at the most speed. So they have a force sitting, covering this bridge with this uh, artillery. I think it's a three-pounder. So Bavaria is immediately pushing up some troops. We're seeing about crossing the river. Of course, it is destroyed because the Spanish were probably like, yeah, no, we're not going to do that. But I believe you can cross anywhere along here. So this artillery... I don't think can fire immediately, but that is one force. They are probably going to be trying to hold this crossing. Um, over here, England is rushing up to this other factions, or this uh, another Spanish force that has a bunch of lights controlling the dominant steel. Artillery opening up already. Are they going for the general? I think that's the only thing they can go for. Not killing them, but... Um... It looks like there may be a cav engagement, so I'm probably just going to stick over here for now. Yep, cav charging in. They're probably going to get volleyed by these lights. Yep. Which is going to make them fall back. Well placed. Look at this. They just have an excellent placing. Look at that. You just see men rushing across. That is so epic. That is so awesome. So anyway, Italy... And Bavaria, probably the ones who are going to be pushing on this small um, Spanish force. However, you have some Cav from Italy that are definitely going around this side. And these lights need to watch out because they are definitely going to get run down. This artillery is uh, going to try to do what they can to soften up, but they're going to get charged immediately. And these lights are not going to do well. It's an excellent move on uh, Italy's part chop up these lights. Now there are some light infantry that are forming up. This artillery is still firing and getting some amazing hits on these uh, line infantry that are marching to this crossing. Nothing else really happening over here. Bavaria is pushing out. <clears throat> but, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. I, uh, gosh, I don't know kind of reminds me of, like, I don't know what faction this is. I should do more research, and I'm going to get better at this, guys. The more I play, the more I see. But they are charging. This English alliance is charging Bavaria with a ton of cab at the same time. <clears throat> Excuse me. Bavaria is definitely going to lose their cab. They were trying to get around the flank, probably hit these artillery, but that's not going to do well for them. They're routing. They are now going in for more... Infantry going in trying to route this lights. So they've totally routed them, but have no fear for their allies are here. Yeah, even rhymed. <laughs> All right, over here. Let's make sure we don't miss anything. So mainly it's just a couple English cab kind of uh, seeing if they can hit a weak spot as this French alliance is advancing through the bridge. But the real hot spots could be over here, guys. As Bavaria is pushing across, followed quickly by Italy, I am sure. This cab is still fighting. These infantry, or these, these cab are holding these uh, it Italian cavalry. Um, Italy is kind of having a standoff um, against the Reich cab. But look at all this a mass of cab. Line of tree advancing, they will be able to form square if they need to, so they're in a 
pump a bunch of volleys into this cab. They're gonna either have to treat or charge them. Either way, this cannon. I think. Okay, they're they're getting this cannon up, but watch out, cause here comes Italy. Italy's gonna hit their cannon. That is unfortunate. And I missed a charge over here. So I, England went in for a cab charge, but they better watch out, cause actually. France has some cab they're sending over this direction, if you look at the mini-map. So, um, Westfall, that's what I'm going to call them. They are, again, be careful, because they're running this cab and run them down while they're moving, and that will be even worse for them, and that is a gorgeous charge, and they are in trouble. These guys are going to rout. Excellent job keeping them back. They, oh my goodness. All four units, they probably will come back, but look at Westfall. They are just running so fast. That is really bad. Over here, it sounds almost like a line battle. I kind of have to get in the trees to go see what's going on. So Italy still has some cav, just trying to pick off whoever they can. Here's some more Italian cav. Um, and I suspect that... Spain is going to try to fall back. Prussia's going in for a cap charge on Italy's flank. This could definitely pay off in the long run, hitting him in the back. Pouring some volleys in from Spain. Sending in, Reich sending in some cap as well. Very good coordination, hitting at the same time. Paying attention to what their teammate's doing. That's what's going to make or break <laughs> these battles. I like this, that they have this hill now. They can set up their artillery. They can shoot down upon Westfall, France. <clears throat> Last time I'm going to apologize, guys. I'm going to have to use nicknames for these factions until I get better at knowing who they are. <laughs> but that's okay. Alright, so once again, England's like, you know what? It worked before. Let's set our cab up. Because, I mean, these guys came back, but they definitely are weakened. They've lost men already. And these infantry up here are extremely fresh. I would almost push up these uh, lights. Try to skirmishing. You have cab that can defend you. Um, France is kind of in between two, um, two enemy, uh, cav units, so they gotta be careful. They can easily lose these cav. And it looks like we're gonna have a large cav engagement, probably. The center is a little weak. Granite the Reich does have some troops right here. Bavaria is going right for their center. Here we have a cav engagement. Cav charging in. Bavaria was not paying attention, unfortunately. And their cav are not going to charge, but Italy is sending some cav over to help. But the Reich wisely is pulling back now. No, they're sending even more. And <laughs> France has decided that they are going to... I don't know where they're going. They're probably going for a general. But they're going to get charged by this uh, English cavalry. Um, but this center, I'd be concerned. I mean, they have artillery here. And they have some cav to defend the artillery. But they don't have a lot of infantry. As of right now, they have pushed across and Our men are running, they can push across using these forests. If I'm not mistaken, you guys can correct me in the comments. I believe the forests do give you a bonus. What happened? France totally just routed all this English cav. That is not what you would want to happen if you were England. So now... England is forming up. I gotta say, if you guys didn't know it already, I love England. It's my favorite faction in this game. And they have a gorgeous view of the battle. But I'm, I'm getting carried away here. Um, Cav is fighting. Bavaria, the right going in at each other. I'll just call them German faction, but let's do that. German faction is routing a bunch of Bavarian Cav. The German infantry are lining up to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Bavaria. Over here, there's just some cav guarding the flank, ensuring that no one swings around on uh, Spain's flank. I like it. But Bavaria definitely has gotten their infantry in position first, and they are pouring in some volleys on this cavalry conflict over here, which definitely the uh, allies have. These Germans definitely have. Oh no, these cow are dead. These SSRs are definitely gonna die. Or not. <clears throat> Alright, so, 
I'm assuming these are skirmishers from uh, England, and they are going to start shooting down. Um, if I didn't say this before, guys, this is the war, like a simulation of the War of 1812. So, um, War of 1812. That's what these units kind of look more like Canadians. Oh yeah, they are French Canadians. Ah, I was actually. What do you know? I was right about something. That's a big day. I'll have to put that in highlights for a big one. <laughs> Kingston got something right without cheating and looking. No. So skirmishers in the center. That's a line battle. We got some cavs. Looks like that are uh, gonna try to charge. These guys cannot form square. So this is bad for them. These guys can form square. I'm not sure what Bavaria was doing. But artillery on both sides, let's see. I know there's artillery over here. Yeah, so Bavaria has their artillery right over here. <clears throat> Italy, I believe, is setting up their artillery. Where are they setting up their artillery? I'm trying to see these trees make it so difficult. I couldn't imagine playing with all the trees. <clears throat> So, good. Prussia is going to both swing on the flank. This is a problem for Bavaria. This artillery is going to start punching holes in these heavy columns. Over here, let's not miss this engagement. Don't miss my favorite faction. England is advancing. Spain should. This, these are lights. They would do an excellent Glorious job victory, of sir. skirmishing on the be flank. You know? be perfect. But look at this massive army pushing over. Two separate art engagements happening. Either one could decide the fate. But actually, look at this. They're pushing up, going on the flank. England is going to be <clears throat> possibly overpowered um, here just by numbers. But that is gorgeous if I've ever seen it. Gorgeous, gorgeous. All right, over here, this line battle is in full swing, but Bavaria has fallen back as I think they realize they are definitely outnumbered. And <clears throat> they may be falling back across the river. That may be a wise choice as they are getting pushed away. Um, yeah, and this cab is just pushing up. Prussia's pushing up, Spain's pushing up. Cav are going into the backs of these men. Nope. Some Italian Cav and some is routing, and Prussian Cav, I think, is trying to hit them as they're retreating. <clears throat> Over here, this line battle is going to be joined. However, Westfall is definitely um, weak. They are definitely weak. Stop. Stop. They lost a lot of these infantry ran from a Cav charge, and they are not even firing yet, and they're already getting peppered down. The artillery from Spain definitely is going to be hitting them as they are trying to get this battle on the way. France is gonna not really gotten involved yet, but they are definitely going for this flank. Wisely, England is sending some more troops, including Cav, over to this flank. And I would be, if I was England, I'd be like, hey, could you help a brother out? Send your infantry, your light infantry over here. Now England doesn't have reserves. That is very good. And they can swing those guys to meet France. But it looks like, um, man, the sounds go off. It does look like okay, they're falling back because um, Italy is actually starting to swing on their flank. So wisely, it's like a pushing back and forth. No one really knows. This battle never has truly gotten engaged for very long. Um, you know, I'm seeing they're all moving way back. They're moving way back, so I'll keep an eye on it. But here is where the true line battle is. to hold their flank and uh, oh Spain went in for a cav charge in the flank beautifully done there are some skirmishers hiding across the river that I'd be able to shoot them down but maybe they should push this initiative they can definitely hit these guys and they're routing in the center too this is a big big play on Spain's part and this is going to help England out as now they can ship more troops to face off with France 
France has a ton of troops, so they have a massive back line of reserves, <clears throat> and they have a lot of troops sitting at this treat line. They're going to start pouring in those volleys into England. This whole rivalry has been going on for hundreds of years. Now Spain is moving up some light infantry. They still have artillery. England has artillery firing. France, I think, is sending some troops over to help out in this engagement. I missed something. Yeah, okay, so unfortunately Spain lost their troops here. Bavaria, being a little bloodied, has fallen back. But they do have some uh, Italian troops on the side who are being attacked by some cavalry. If they can route this, their flank will be a little more secure. And I think I think this German force is calling the retreat a little bit. Yeah, they're, they're falling back a little bit as Italy is getting a little aggressive here. Bavaria and Italy are pushing up. I mean, I think that definitely they're thinking if we can focus down this English force first, you know, we will be in a good way. Oh, I missed it. Kingston, what are you doing? I missed a bayonet charge by England. Excellent, excellent bayonet charge. It looks like Westfall is definitely hurting. They are breaking. And this force just keeps breaking on the edges, just crumbling. England is falling back, trying to reform, trying not to get flanked. They know that there are some Prussian cav over here. And I think that these this German alliance is actually starting to shift over. Which should actually be a huge game changer. So now we have some skirmishers coming up here. They're gonna the down. England pushing on the initiative. And they are going to start pushing on this flank. I love this formation. They are not giving up. They are just taking this army head on. Over here, the forces have kind of detached. Italy's trying to push, try to get some some uh, kills in as this army's moving. So um, the Germans may have to send some troops to uh, <laughs> fire at the engage this Italian line. It's not very much. They could crush these forces here. There's a lot of cab, of course, on that side. But they are just falling back, and Bavaria's going to have to follow them. Um, France is going to have to worry. I mean, they have a whole bunch of reinforcements, but these guys could be used to flank, but they may have to cover their back. This is an excellent position for this coalition, though. They have the high ground. They have a lot of troops to uh, cover their infantry. Oh, these volleys are just gorgeous. And this line battle is just popping. Just popping. Very, very close. And it looks like France is preparing for the fact that they're going to have to head off with uh, Germany. And Prussia. These grenadiers. Are these grenadiers? Yeah. These guards. Are, like, like young guard, kind of. They are starting to get some shots off as I think Germany has decided they are going to just engage them. Cav here, they better watch out. They can't shift too much cav, although look over here, Bavaria is advancing, so Prussia is like, you know what, you want to come fight? Sure, I'll meet you. They have artillery that is going to be able to uh, punch some holes, balance this line battle in their favor. And Italy is like, okay, I didn't actually mean for you to, you know, advance. I was just going to try to kill you as you were running <laughs> along. Um, so now France is like, okay, good, I can push some more men on the flank. And that's exactly what they're going to do. This line battle is still underway, and England looks like they may have a slight advantage. Um, a slight advantage, as this flank is a little weak, and they have more men they can push. But it looks like England is going to fall back, maybe get a little closer so the artillery can help them out a little more. Plus, France is getting aggressive here. They're pushing cav out, they're pushing infantry out. They're about to start popping some volleys on the flank of these English. And even as they're walking away, that's going to start hurting them. Over here, this line battle. Italy's falling back now. Not really standing and fighting. Prussia is advancing to the attack. Bavaria has decided 
They're gonna re-engage this line battle. I don't think they have a very good advantage when it comes to artillery, though. Prussia definitely has that advantage. They have this artillery that's gonna keep punching holes in Bavaria. Germany is advancing to Italy. Italy is deciding this is where they're gonna make their stand. This is it. This line battle is going to stop here. Or start here. Oh, maybe they're going in for a bayonet charge. Are they going in, they're going in for a bayonet charge? No? I'm so confused. Okay, so I think they just ordered the ball to fire at them, which... Now, I will not say I'm a veteran, guys, when it comes to you know, playing Total War 3, but I do believe that if you just let your men stay there, they will fire automatically versus this whole thing where they will adjust. But is that charge going in? This may or may not work. Cab as well, backing them up. This could totally break these guards. I don't know if it is, but more infantry going to back them up. This is going to be very important to this line battle. Who's going to win? Because these are guards. They're very elite. More Cav getting ready to go in if they need to to support this line battle. I think Italy's getting ready to throw some men up if needed. These guards are holding really well. I think they may finally break, but not before they damage. Yeah, they're breaking. So now Italy has lost a, one part of their flank. France is just itching to have a cav charge. They're itching. You can tell. They just have an itch. All right, over here, some cav possibly from Westfall, but of course these infantry formed line. Find perform square and uh, protect their flank. Excellent placement of the troops that can't perform. And it looks like France wants to go in. They're gonna get shelled down, but they can go for these. Uh, they can go for this artillery from Prussia. They could possibly do it. Now they are, as much as they're itching, I don't know if they're going to. Over here, it looks like Prussia sent some cabin trying to break Bavaria, cause Bavaria to kind of fall back a little bit. Prussia's putting more pressure on Bavaria. Italy here is kind of starting to break a little bit. They sent some cab, it looks like, but it did not work, and now Germany is going to start trying to put more pressure on them, but the bayonet charge going in from Italy again against, uh, this almost reminds me of Austria. Watch, it's Austria. Oh, another cab charge going in as well, trying to break these lights. So Italy's throwing as much as they can. Germany now going in, and now France also is going in for the guns, going in for cab charge. Oh, well played, but Prussia did notice it, but it may not help. They're probably not gonna get their men out there in time. France did break some, have some men break, and some more cab break. So this still could, nope. Uh, looks like France is definitely gonna win this cab engagement. Yeah, a lot of men break. Over here, England is falling back. Bavaria falling back. This cav, uh oh, Prussia. Notice, these are some heavy cav too. Um, England, or thankfully, um, <clears throat> Germany is noticing that Prussia's in danger and they're sending in some cavs, so they're gonna break these French cav. And France has lost their cav. They did route some artillery, but they lost their cav. And now they are in danger of getting flanked. And pushed around <laughs> instead of being able to defend their flank now the allied coalition the english coalition now has a chance to turn this battle around using their cavalry and i like how this worked out for uh journey italy definitely hurt now italy is pushing on the on the flank hoping to uh get around behind them um, bavaria i think I think is, uh, I'm not sure. I think Prussia's falling back now in Bavaria. They've just gone back and forth so much. This battle's gone back and forth. Now Germany did lose a significant amount of infantry, but so did Italy. Italy does not have as much. And Spain is sitting here, gonna get flanked. Germany needs to help defend them. Or say something. So England has called an official retreat. Westfall, France, are advancing they're going to use this hill as an advantage which is actually very good because if you look at this guys oh that is just gorgeous they 
it can fire over the heads of the other units. Oh, don't glitch out, because that looks so awesome. That just looks so awesome. Okay, so it looks like some infantry went in for a bayonet charge. Um, but so far, nothing else really happening there. Um, Spain did lose their men. I figured that would happen. They were kind of sitting there exposed. Prussia is falling back. It looks like they're actually trying to split up Bavaria. And Bavaria is just kind of like, they smell blood. They're going for them. I don't know if I'd push after these three. I think I would kind of go more for the center because Bavaria needs to be helping out their ally because Italy is in trouble, I would say. Italy is not doing the greatest right now. They've taken massive losses. They're taking on the brunt of this German faction. It keeps falling back, firing volley and falling back. Over here, now Spain is going to form up on the flank of England, and this battle is going to be rejoined. Cav from England going in for a cav charge, it looks like. Going to hit these lights. That is very, very, very well played. These lights could have sat back and skirmished down without taking any losses. Unfortunately, they are going to be gone. And uh, Westfall cannot handle this English cab. This English cab just wrecking them. And now these these uh, English cab are like, you know what? Let's just keep going. <laughs> you know, let's just keep going for some more guys. So they're going to charge in the back lines. Are they going for a general? What are they doing? I think they're just looking for an opportunity. Nope, they're going for the guns of France, and France doesn't even notice. The man of fatigue, sir, I must rest a while. They don't even notice it. These mounted guides just maneuver the maneuverability they had. That was gorgeous. And they are going to destroy these guns. Excellent play by England. That's going to be a massive victory for England. Now they won't have to worry about getting shelled down. Now, let's not forget this side. As Italy is trying to... And just, they're trying to destroy this German faction, which actually is looking a little weaker. Bavaria lost some cannon to another cap charge by Prussia. Prussia is just... <clears throat> Prussia was not focusing on this, but very obviously was focusing on their line infantry. And, um, this is this a charge, I see? No. Maybe. The one on the flank, Bavaria, is trying to push, but this is bad. This is very bad. Going to the back lines, I don't think Bavaria sees it. They're going to get hit in the back. The multitasking is using this. And I think Russia is going in for a good old bayonet charge while they're distracted or they're just getting a lot closer. Either way, this is going to break a lot of Bavaria. Over here, it looks like they was going in front of the bayonet charge. Yes, they are. Russia's coming up to help them, so I think that'll be okay for them. For, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Oh, we got some Prussian cav coming in, trying to weaken up Italy. Italy is kind of getting their fix sealed as they don't have any cav to combat it. And France lost their cav over here. Man, there's so much happening at once. Spain seems to be pushing along the flank of France. England is like, you know what? Let's fall back a little bit. France is like, yeah, no, you're not going to fall back without me having to say about it. And they charge them back as they're falling back. France has just non-stop been running after England. And they are hitting these guys in the back. That is very bad. But this is going to decide how that whole battle. And it looks like Italy is gone. Bavaria is getting totally surrounded in this area. They lost all their troops. Now they are trying to pull back as Prussia is just surrounding their final force. And uh, a very a series of unfortunate events. However, more cab. Okay, I thought it was a general. Our men are running, sir. Nothing really happening over there. Um, a lot of bayonet charges. I think that France has had enough of them falling back, and now it's just going in for a bayonet charge. I'm trying to see if they can't break this army so they can have the hill. This is point blank firing. That's deadly, deadly. And unfortunately, it did not pay off, and I think France is actually going to have some units break from this bayonet charge. I think they got a little too uh, carried away. Too impetuous. 
I counter charge these guys, you know? Just counter charging. Spain is taking a bullet for Our England, men are running for lining up against the vastly superior French force. Over here, I think this is definitely a German victory. They have routed Italy. Bavaria is kind of being surrounded. They can still do this, though. They can still <clears throat> beat Prussia. It's just going to be extremely challenging as Prussia has so much cab they can still send in. Um, and Italy, they can do a little bit to kind of skirmish them down, but this French Prussian force, or this, excuse me, German Prussian force is now going to be fighting against France. And France has lost their troops that were skirmishing on this hill, unfortunately. Westfall is trying to exert pressure, but they have a not going to have a very good job of uh, fighting uphill. It's going to be very challenging. Extremely challenging for them, actually. France can definitely beat this, uh, this uh, Spanish force as they got in behind Spain as well. They are certainly this force that can definitely help them out. <clears throat> and this battle is just crazy. You know, I, I, trying to bounce one side of the battlefield to the other, guys, I can tell you it's not the easiest thing in the world. So I'm sorry if I'm missing stuff, but what are you going to do, you know? So Prussia is still putting pressure on them. Bavaria has not, has not given up, but they are breaking. And Prussia is just surrounding them. Our men are running, sir. Oh no. Who's running? Oh. Unfortunately, they. Oh, they came back. So, even with that cab charge, the cannon came back. So, France is still in a good position. Spain managed to pull off. I don't know. How do they pull that off? I missed it. They must have been at charge or something because they broke all these French units that were coming behind them and they've fallen back. And once again. Back to ground zero of a line battle on the hill. And uh, it just keeps going on. And, ooh, we got some artillery moving up. I just set up right here. Start punching holes in uh, French uh, troops. These infantry are going to come over, and France is about to be in trouble. Bavaria is about to get. Oh, line battles turned into a bayonet melee battle. Fighting who's gonna win, because it looks very even. Oh, Bavaria is losing. General for Prussia and Bavaria sitting by trying to bring this bring their men back, but unfortunately, oh they broke through. Bavaria broke through and they can nope. This is probably the end for Bavaria. <clears throat> We have killed their general, sir. And now there goes Bavarian general. I'm assuming. Yeah, Bavaria general is down, dead, so Bavaria is going to break. Italy he doesn't have a whole lot, but I think his general was going to go in for a charge against these cannons. It's not going to happen. Now France is being surrounded. Westfall is falling back. England is like, I'm gonna attack now. So, this battle is a little over halfway over. This is crazy. This battle must get down to the wire. And this is why I like the hill guys. Look at this. They can fire over the heads of these line infantry and not get friendly fire. <clears throat> so now Italy has lost their general. Their men are uh, out of form square. They're about to get charged by some cav. <clears throat> Prussia is probably going to go for these cannons, and France unfortunately left their cannons too far back, and is not going to be able to defend them. Bavaria is done. Prussia probably is not going to get over here before the battle's over, but I'd still march my guys over that direction. <clears throat> okay, they just ran past one. Okay. <laughs> so there goes the French cav, and now Westfall is... Um, Falling back, I would try to meet up with France. Last brave stand. And uh, these guys are getting shelled to pieces by this artillery that's sitting so close. 
And here comes Prussia and Germany. You can't even see where the line infantry are. All you see is the flashes. But they're gonna advance, they're gonna fight. And it's a bayonet charge, I think England is going in. They have decided that it is time to bring this battle to a close with the cold steel. Breaking units, France starts breaking. And I can't believe this battle has as much time left on it. It has 45 minutes left. I'm not sure how. And there goes France. France has fallen, and Westfall is the only one left. And uh, they're going to hold by the river. Holding by the river. Get that out of the way. And this battle was crazy. The center looked a little risky at first. And uh, France looked like, I honestly thought France was going to surround England, but unfortunately, um, the Cav engagement is what really hurt, really hurt France. France got extremely hurt when they lost all their Cav. So the cavalry is running down these infantry, making sure they do not come back. England, who has done a major, played a major role in this battle, is advancing on Westfall. focus on one part of the battlefield. I only have to. So. Not a lot you can really say about that, except for that this game is just amazing and gorgeous. You know? I'll never get tired of watching this game, playing this game. Just, you, I don't think you can. <clears throat> General for Westfall and Westfallen, whatever it's called is uh, watching, saying, how could it have come to this? How could it have come to this? And now, they're gonna get some beautiful volleys off. Ooh. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. No, way to go. Getting in the shot. I think they're just running down these guys to make sure they don't come back. Oh look, Italy has a unit. <laughs> and actually, these forces are pretty even. I think England is deciding they're just going to get a lot closer. Yeah, I think England's just getting a lot closer. Oh, Cav Charge going in from Prussia. Can hit the sides, can hit this gen. No. Oh, that is a great capture. The general is getting shot. And this battle is going to come to a raging close pretty soon here, I'd say. As this Prussian cap is running, these guys can't form square. All men are running, so None of these guys can form square except over here. Prussia, however, did have their cab route. And this general. Like, could you stop playing that Google? Okay, England's starting to break. Westfall is definitely putting up a fight. Near Cav from England coming in the flank. Where did they come from? The back. They're gonna attack these guys in the back. It's gonna cause them probably to break, but England's probably gonna have to break as well. And uh, slowly but surely, they are chipping away. Slowly but surely. Here come more cab. Fortunately for Westfall. But these guys are probably tired. But they are going to uh, probably route the East Infantry. And then uh, these guys are running. 
I would surrender if I was a general at this point. You know, I'd be like, we surrender. I think they're advancing, going for a bayonet charge. The general going in for a bayonet charge. Glorious, there he is, right there. How long until he dies? That's the question. We have killed the devil. There, he just got whacked in the head with, bayonet, with the, the butt of a rifle. And that will bring this battle to a close, guys. Um, there was, of course, one Italian human. Um, a lot of friendly fire, my goodness. Question, is this going to be the battle? Another rivalry here? Because, you know, friendly fire and all? <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, this was sent in by Chainmail, and uh, he was in the Discord for uh, newer players to Napoleon Total War 3, which I will uh, send a link in the description if you'd like to join. The guys are really cool. Uh, they will teach you the ways of Napoleon Total War 3, because it is definitely has a steep learning curve. But, uh, awesome battle. Very close for a little bit there. Um, well played on all parts. Mistakes were made on each side, I'm sure. <laughs> Things they wish they could do over, but you know. That's the fun of games like this. You learn as you go. So, I um, hope you guys enjoyed this. Unfortunately, it's the last video for this week as I go back to work tomorrow. And uh, the next three days I will not be on. But come Saturday, guys, we hit 50 subscribers yesterday, and that is really awesome. So thank you guys so much. I'm going to, uh, there's a poll up until Saturday about what you'd like to see me do. We have a live stream campaign. We have a live stream uh, multiplayers against subscribers, or there's a couple of options, and you can also put your own option in if you'd like. So go ahead and uh, do that poll. I'll put a link in the description for that as well. What you'd like to see on Saturday, guys, and... Um, yeah, I think that's about it. So uh, you guys stay safe. Have a great rest of your week. I will catch you all in another video.